Now this story leads African Union Commission Chair Musa Faki Mohammed is in South Africa to open the sixth ordinary session of the fourth sitting of the Pan-African Parliament in Midrand in Johannesburg on Monday. The Parliament uh, will sit for the next two weeks and will also elect its president and four vice presidents. The battle for the highest offices of the Pan-African Parliament is underway. A president and four vice presidents will be elected for the next three years. They will each represent the five regions of the continent. The main highlight is the elections. The election of the, um, the Bureau of the Pan-African Parliament, that is the president and four vice presidents. The other highlight is that uh, for the first time in a few sessions, we now have as our guest of honor the chairperson of the African Union Commission. The Pan-African Parliament was established in 2004 as one of the arms of the African Union. Part of its mandate is to make laws for the continent, but up until now, it has only played an advisory role. This year, as it goes into its 14th year, it will get another president. It will be the fifth. The other issue that has been of contention at this parliament is the issue of rotation. Some regions in the parliament have fewer countries than others, and because each country is represented by five members, that means there are regions that are more likely to get the presidency than others because it is a simple majority. The northern region has six countries, while the southern region region has 10 countries. Some MPs say without a rule for rotation, regions like the North, which has already nominated a candidate, may never assume the presidency. The current seating of the Pan-African Parliament made a rule to be incorporated in the revised protocol for the Parliament. Now, until that protocol is um, ratified fully, it is not a rule. It remains a principle. More than 80 members of parliament are expected to be sworn in as members of the Pan-African Parliament in this session. Among them, they include members of the ANC, including National Council of Provinces Chair Tandi Mudise, members of the DA, as well as EFF leader Julius Malema. Zimbabwe and Botswana are already campaigning. Do any of the five MPs from South Africa stand a chance to represent the southern region? Candidates are nominated by their regions, the regional caucuses, and so far only the northern region has put forward a candidate. We expect that uh, come Monday or Tuesday, or indeed any time before half past nine on uh, Thursday the 10th of May, that the candidates will be formally uh, presented by their respective caucuses. In the past, some officials at the Pan-African Parliament have been unhappy with issues that the media has had access to, including public accounts. We have nothing to hide. And even if we had something to hide, uh, we are obliged to show it to the public. Only five of the 55 countries have ratified the Malabo Protocol, an agreement to give the parliament more legislative powers. Until all countries ratify the protocol, the parliament remains an advisory body. Ntakwana Ngatani, SABC News, at the Pan-African Parliament in Midrand.